See, this is the other thing is that I mm. think with audiobooks, because it is so difficult uh, to, to, you know, get that audiobook up there, mm-hmm. it's not as crowded a space as, say, your digital book market or your even your print on demand, you know, like that is such a crowded space. That's a really good point, yeah. It's a fast-growing, you know, re- rel- by comparison, minuscule market to, to, um, to you know, digital e-books and, and paperbacks. You know, the audio book market is, a, you know, a tiny fraction of a fifteenth of a little thing. By, you know, by comparison, it's growing like all topsy, but really it's, so, as you say, there's a lot of, you, you know, you, it's kind of big fish in the, in the small pond to, to some degree, I think, if, you, if your authors can get themselves out there with a with an audio book? Yeah. Do you feel? Uh, look, I, the growth, I have seen some statistics that look at how, you know, definitely with print, you know, that mm. um, audio is, they're just ratcheting up. Like I, I think that is the way people are going to be taking in information. Mm. Um, the children's market has grown. I mean, you were just talking about a children's book now. Yeah, yeah. I've done seven of them now. Seven, yeah, seven children's fantastic. audiobooks. Oh, they're wonderful. They're so much fun, and yeah. they're so beautiful and short. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, with um, we, we not have... not the children. I mean, the book, the audio book. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're, they're norm- the children are normally short. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. I'm not having a go at them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they can't help it. Uh, but, but, <laughs> The books, the you know, I, I've been talking to an author about a children, lovely children's book, and I'd, I'd love to get a little bit more into audio description, which is what we used to do, you know, in the RPH network. Oh, tell me about what does that term mean? So audio description is almost like a skill in itself. So mm. because we developed, you know, a whole product and mode of operation, which mm-hmm. was basically for the vision impaired, you know. So back, and that was, what, 30 years ago, um, you know, Vision Australia and, and the RPH network um, <clears throat> developed radio for people who were blind. And that's, mm-hmm. that's, that was it. That was the mission, you know, with the um, associations, you know, that were started and it was usually run by sighted people, right? Yeah. Uh, so you then built a skill that was audio describing what was happening at an event, for instance. So for a while. <gasps> oh, at, now I see. Okay, yeah. the, light, the light's gone on now. Yeah, go yeah. on. Yeah. So, for instance, we used to have, uh, you know, the radio to RPH used to do the audio description in concert with ABC of the fireworks. Right. Yes. So yeah. This I've is got obviously, it, now. it was coverage and it's a big deal. Any mm. fireworks, you know, like you'd have somebody who was a professional audio describer yes, describe no what it was in front of you. Yeah. So this is one of the things that I'm thinking of offering, especially for books that are kind of like graphic heavy. Or have yes, got lovely yes. elements, you know, to it. 